Hello everyone. I wanted to show you the notebook here. So if you are interested in seeing what's inside, stay tuned. Here's the front cover. Let love grow. I used um, a box as the cover part of this and um, I, I'll post some um, links below so you can kind of get an idea of where I got this inspiration from. I used jute for these little dangling charms at the end. And um, I also used threaded, I threaded this with a needle, and a lot of times people use the inside to start their starting point, but I did it on the outside this time because I wanted to put little charms down here. I thought that would be kind of cool. So that's why you see this at the end here. And um, then there's the back side. So I used cloth. For the front cover and stickers. This was scrapbook paper. And I just found some scrapbook paper and I cut out the butterflies and then I um, matched them on the other side and I glued two of them together. So I cut out four butterflies and then I just kind of matched them on the other side. And then I used an ink mark, black ink mark, and I colored this and then I added cute little rhinestones. So that's kind of how I did the front there. And then I of course tied this here. Um, uh, several of you saw little sneak peeks of this cute little journal and asked that I make a video of showing what it looked like on the inside. So here I am showing this cute little junk journal that I've never done before. It's my very first one and um, quite frankly didn't know what I was doing so I just kind of winged it. And we'll open the side here. And we'll go to the first page. Here's the first page has rhinestones. I used rhinestones to go up all the way around here. Rhinestones there. And little butterfly says blossom. I used um, sparkle glue to glue this down and that was just my own handwriting. Um, and then I found some lace and I stuck that on the side. So I used a lot of scrap stuff when I did started this. Um, I will say too that I glued the spine down and after I did that I think that that was the, um, a big mistake. So I used rhinestones to kind of cover up my mistake. Um, but I think it turned out alright. And um, I think for the next time I'll, I'll, I'll sew everything in. I just kind of wanted to see how the glue part, glue would work. Then I have the next page here and this comes out as a little tuck. I got this as a scrapbook paper. I put something on the back here and this is a little pocket that I made. So it's kind of cute how I've put that in there and of course another sticker. And you could probably write something on here. My daughter absolutely loves this cute little journal. She wants it. So I thought, well, maybe I might give it to her for Christmas. Um, this is the tea bag or the um, tea dye paper that I used. Um, if you saw the video that I posted last week, I used all of my tea dye paper in here. Again, there's another a firma, and I used that. And then, of course, you can take this out. Well, you're supposed to take that out. Apparently, it's glued in there. Um, and you can write something in there. Alright, and then there's the next page. 
this I just left open has a lot of place for someone to write notes and then again more I just did cute little hearts and then I've got a little pocket in here again and I made a cute little tag I didn't um, glue anything on the back on this one so somebody could write little notes on the back here if they wanted to I also um, used ink to ink the sides to make it look vintage and then we have this one this one was fun to make had a bunch of Affirma little things and I love gardens and so I used the garden theme here and um, this is just kind of something neat and um, I have these in here so that they won't come out and then there's another one a little place to put notes and then you can do the same thing put some notes on the back here you could put notes here and then this is just tucked in I ripped this hand ripped this I wanted that rough looking look to it so it wasn't didn't have any clean lines just you know I just used my imagination and I made it different on every single page I don't know that I'll ever write in this so but if I give it to my daughter she might write in it um, it looks kind of nice just sitting up like that displayed um, this is, I found, I had, this actually was scrap from, you know, some people send you those baskets and there's these, come with these ribbons. And so, kind of used that. Oh, actually, you know what? No, I take that back. I got this at the dollar store. There was um, a spool of this and I thought it was really cute. I'm thinking of, there's another ribbon I have that I haven't put in any of the journals that I um, actually used. So you could use, you, you know, that's kind of where I get my scraps is from different um, things. So, you know, all of those bags or boxes that come with ribbon, I just save them and put them in here. This is from a bow that I just tied up and it's basically on a spool of ribbon and I just kind of made my bow and then stuck it on there and of course you can write in here if you wanted it has a wire on it so you can bend it back so that it's lays nicely do what you love I use um, this uh, oxide ink and I have a little brush and I might show a demonstration later in another video on how I did that and I just stenciled that on and then um, this is Valium and I have a, a pack of it and so I put that over here on this and of course you can lift up and write a little note on here and then another pocket to tuck that away and then here's the center. So this is what I was talking about when I did the, the glue. Um, when I glued, these were more closer together, these two. And I should have done another set, uh, a signature set. But um, I felt like if I, if, as I close this, obviously it's huge enough as it is. So that's where I, I think I made my first mistake. Because when I glued everything together these two signature sets touched and so I kind of had to be careful and pry them apart a little bit and then I went ahead and I just put this jute fabric in the center so it, it doesn't look like it's a mistake but um, that was a huge one <laughs> so you know you learn as you go I, I do like the center here and I thought how do I spruce that up a little bit so I put these pop out butterflies to make it look um, like it's not a mistake um, and then we go to the next one 
And of course there's another tuck in here so somebody could get, you know, put something in there that they like or if there's a memory that you want to remember or, or maybe movie tickets or something you can tuck that in there and uh, then of course there's more I, I wanted to make more I don't consider this really a junk journal because I've made pages to where someone can just write a little note for the day um, and that's kind of what I was going for when I was making this journal and there's another spot and then of course another tuck and I tore the paper uh, I've seen videos where when you tear it and then you edge it with some ink it looks really cool so that's kind of where I got the idea to do that this is I left it pink like that and then someone can just write on there so that's another spot for notes and more butterflies I love butterflies and then this is again another piece of paper that was from my tea dye that I just did and um, I stenciled notes on there and there was a little feather and I used the oxide ink vintage for that vintage ink and this was a little envelope that I turned into a pocket and then I added another pocket on the other side so this has a pocket in here and then a pocket in here and then there's the next page this is you know, um, I cut out a bunch of again scrapbook paper and cut stuff out so there could be something here you could tuck in but um, this is actually the first thing I did when I started this journal I did this before I even had the cover and I thought well well let's see how we go as we keep going and so this here and then these two pages here were the first two pages I started with and then I added on from there and then here is another page of course more notes and a little tag put that back in this I didn't tear this time I just used scrap from a cutout that I put in the journal here somewhere I don't know which flower that came from I think it might have come from this so I cut out these flowers from the scrapbook that's right that's what I did and then this <coughs> excuse me this is um, pocket that I made from the cutout of these flowers and then another page for notes more places to write little notes in more places to write notes in again and this is another pocket and then the back and again I put pearls and rhinestones around this back here because when I glued the spine these two stuck and there was a huge flaw in the side of the paper so um, I improvised and put a sticker here and did all that so um, anyway this is my first little journal and I what I think I might do I actually really like this and I think it's um, something that would be really cute to sit up somewhere on a shelf or something so I think I might just keep it and then just make another junk journal for my daughter because she likes this and would like to have something like this plus she likes to write and I don't know I'm it might be a little awkward for an eight-year-old I mean there you know it's I think I might make her one something a little different maybe a little larger than this so but um, I am I hope you like this video um, I like I said I got a lot of inspiration from other videos and I will link those in the description below 
and you can get a sense of how I made mine and maybe in a future video I'll show you how I did the spine and the cover but that is my little journal. I think this might be something that would be better suited for a display in um, a bathroom or on a shelf. I'll probably make a new one for my daughter instead. This is the first one I ever made and I don't know, it'd kind of be nice to just let this be my sample one and um, just have it, just, you know, sit there and look pretty. So I hope you enjoyed watching this video and if you like my videos, please subscribe to my channel. I post every Friday and sometimes more than once during the week if I have something going on. Uh, it like, if you like this video, hit the like button and I hope you have a wonderful weekend. And until next time, see you around. Bye.